We explore timing concerns in logic circuitry. In previous videos, we used a timing diagram to show a sequence of circuit states. We extend the use of this diagram to show the main timing issues regarding digital circuitry. Consider the operation of a simple AND gate. The timing diagram shows the logic sequence when the input A transits from 1 to 0. Because the gate is made of transistors, there will in fact be a delay in the output transition. This delay, delta, is called the propagation delay. It is a property of the device in question, and generally increases with the device's complexity. For a basic gate, the propagation delay is of the order of 10 nanoseconds. While this delay is small for many applications, it is compounded when devices occur one after the other. In this case, following the transition of the input A, the delay in the transition of output Y is the sum of the delay delta 1 in the AND gate and the delay delta 2 of the NOT gate. The delay between a change of input and the final setting of the output state is called the propagation delay of the circuit. This example shows another phenomenon arising from propagation delays. After A transits, X transits, and following the delay of the NOT gate, Y transits. During the period between the transit of X and that of Y, the output Z will temporarily give an incorrect transient state known as a glitch. Glitches are very important to predict and to detect for the purpose of circuit checking or debugging. We also need to account for the delay delta 3 in the OR gate. The circuit propagation delay is thus the sum of those for the three gates. As a final note, the glitch may be minimized in time by adding a buffer before the output X. The propagation delay of the buffer should match that of the NOT gate. This is a crude attempt to synchronize the arrival of the two inputs at the OR gate. While minimizing the glitch, the propagation delay of the circuit remains the sum of the propagation delays of the three gates.